Hey, what's up guys? This is Abe of Yucatec and today we will be going down memory lane for a bit. So about a decade ago, people thought of MediaTek chipsets as cheap and they always label it as a decent chip for mid-range smartphones. It was the best alternative back then and it offers the best price point in the market. Even our numerous sit-down discussions with MediaTek reps boil down the price-performance value proposition. Fast forward today, MediaTek has become a serious player, not only in the entry to mid, but also in the flagship smartphone category. In this video, we are actually going to share more details about the latest MediaTek Dimensity 9000. And we will give you a better understanding of the capabilities of this flagship chipset. In our last video, we explained the Dimensity 1200. We highlighted the fact that it was made with a 7 nanometer manufacturing technology. You can watch that video later by Joey by clicking up here and you will also see that in the link down below. But today is something special. The Dimensity 9000 is MediaTek's flagship chipset SOC and the world's first TSMC 4 nanometer class smartphone chip. If you allow me to be blunt, this is smacking right up the alley of Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. But more on that later, because in order for you to understand how special this chipset is, we need to run back time for us to explain how far MediaTek has come. Okay, first, there are now three segments of their mobile chipsets from high performance down to the entry level. Flagship chipsets are categorized as MediaTek Dimensity series, while the upper mid-range are the MediaTek Helio series, and the legacy chipsets are the entry to mid-level. I will not dive into the nitty-gritty details of the technicalities of their chipsets because that might take over an hour or two just for me to explain every single chipset they have produced. I'll just give you the highlights or a refresher for you to remember how old were you when you got your first MediaTek device. Okay, let's start off with the legacy chipsets. Legacy are the 3G HSPA 32-bit smartphone chipsets. In the Philippines, this was popularized by local brands like Cherry Mobile, and my phone. Some of the notable chips are the MT657 series with dual-core processors and the MT658 with quad-core processors. Remember those? Good old times, huh? Then came the entry-level and the mainstream-level chipsets that came with an integrated 4G modem. MediaTek then came out with the MT675 chipset that featured a true 64-bit octa-core processor with support for up to 4 gigabytes of RAM. Next, we move on to the upper mid-range segment of their chipsets, the Helio series. There are four categories in this segment, the MediaTek Helio G, Helio A, Helio P, and the Helio X. Or we simply refer to them as the Helio Gap X. There are tons in each segment. I won't be able to drill them one by one, but I will just give you the gist of each naming convention, starting off with the Helio G. The G stands for gaming. For sure, you are all familiar with this because these are the current devices that we see in the market and they are very popular right now since the mobile gaming industry emerged. With the notable brand names like Realme and Infinix Mobile, they are utilizing these chipsets. We have eight chips in this series, the Helio G90, G70, G95, 85, 25, 80, 35, and the G96. The Infinix Note 8 and Realme Pad both use the Helio G80 chipset while the Cherry Mobile Aqua S10 Pro and the Infinix Note 10 Pro use the Helio G90 and the Helio G90T respectively. Next is the Helio A which stands for Advanced and Accessibility with three variants, the Helio A25, A22, and the A20. Most of the popular devices in this series are the Redmi 6A and the Huawei Y6. Then, we have the Helio P, which stands for Premium Performance, with as many as 13 variants, from the Helio P10 all the way to the Helio P95. Finally, they also had the Helio X series, which stands for Extreme Performance, with 6 variants from X10 to X30. They also introduced the DecaCore CPU in this series, which features a lot of advanced chip performance that maximizes the video and camera capabilities. And to complete the last piece of the puzzle, the MediaTek Dimensity. 
But for this part, we will focus on the latest Dimensity 9000. Again, we have a video explaining the Dimensity 1200 series down below. They also have the Dimensity 900, 800, and 700 series, but we will just give you the link of the technical specifications down below. Believe it or not, this is where MediaTek dramatically changes the game. As mentioned earlier, the Dimensity 9000 is the world's first TSMC 4 nanometer class smartphone chip and is the high-end SOC in this series. Their core architecture consists of a Cortex-X2 A710 and A510 using 8 megabytes of L3 cache while the system level cache is 6 megabytes. If we are to compare it with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 on paper, it has a higher clock speed in both the L3 and the system level cache. Now in terms of GPU, MediaTek paired it with their newest Mali G710, specifically the G710 MC10. It's a 10-core GPU clocked at 800 MHz. The latest device to date that will have this chipset is the Oppo X5 series, although we still don't have that device here yet in our studio. Nevertheless, MediaTek provided us with some of their internal benchmark results. This chip earned a score of 1,017,488 points. That is insane, making it the first SOC to break the 1 million mark. Alongside this is the fifth generation of the AI processing unit, which helps achieve maximum effective performance in the latest AI tech. Combine it with a camera image processing tech, which gives users the capability to capture video on multiple cameras with three exposures simultaneously. It also offers the 320 megapixel camera support, ultra high quality photo with up to two times lossless zoom and video recording of up to 4K HDR. And of course, MediaTek's own display tech includes Mira Vision 790, which supports up to 180Hz refresh rate. The chip also includes Hyper Engine 5.0. Basically, it ensures consistent, smooth gameplay, less connection drop, and better FPS. It also features ray tracing SDK using Vulkan and hybrid AI GPU super resolution for gaming on Android. Flagship chipsets will not be complete in today's standard without 5G connectivity. The MediaTek Dimensity 9000 is packed with a highly integrated 5G modem, featuring MediaTek's 5G UltraSave 2.0 technology, contributing to significant power savings. Bluetooth 5.3, the latest Wi-Fi and GPS tech, and many more. Again, if you want to see the technical details of this chipset, we'll just link it down below. So, that's about it for this video. I hope you gained additional insights about MediaTek's latest flagship SoC. Which leads to my question, is your next smartphone be powered by a MediaTek chipset? Let us know in the comments section down below. And as always, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and hit that bell icon so you won't miss any of our future videos. Once again, this is Abe and I will see you in our next video.